guys I had from Channel 5 who knew this manual, they said, well, we did. We don't know. This is when you start and go through it. Shooting off. Sorry. When we train people from, again, all around the world, from apprentice right through to master. Um, there's a lot of foreign students that come here. And of course, shipping has always been a big part of the UK industry. And some 95% of our imports and exports are carried by sea. Some are very skeptical because they look at them and think, it's a 30-foot boat on a big pond. What can this possibly teach me? It takes them sometimes a day to realise that whatever happens in real life will happen on these. Only happens five times quicker on this one. And after they get to practice things, <clears throat> and it's surprising when you look at them, the, the intense look at times on their faces, particularly when it's not going right. The core skills they would learn from a course here um, mainly involves bringing the ship alongside, appreciating the speed of it. The majority of accidents are caused by excessive speed. Um, how to navigate round the channels, not actually going up the channel. He's now got charts, and electronic charts to do that. But how to actually physically turn the ship. Bearing in mind these new container ships are a thousand feet long in round figures. The, the big market at the moment is gas ships, which is a very, very good safety record. You bear in mind, one of these ships probably costs you $300 million. Now, it's a lot of money <laughs> to put at stake. <clears throat> you cannot afford for something to go wrong. Mm Why use these rather than a simulator? Um, remember, everything that happens in, <clears throat> in real life happens on these. It's all caused by hydrodynamics. In a simulator, it's a computer that does it. There's no computer wizardry in these. It's all natural, the natural forces. And I think that gives people a better idea of what happens when they put the real ship into shallow water. This one on your right represents a 300,000 ton tanker. We feel these are better when it comes to pure ship handling, close in, coming alongside. Simulators do have their limitations there. And in these, again, because of the scaling factor and everything happening quicker, you can get in more exercises. <laughs> There's very few people who have a job like mine. I have exp a problem explaining to people what I do. I've got seven of these out here, which we work with. Usually I'm following the students, I'm not normally in the model. I've got four radio-controlled tugs that we use, particularly for pilots. And I can't really think of a better place to work. 